in relational database theory, a relation, as originally defined by EF code, is a set of tuples, where each element DJ is a member of DJ, a data domain. Code's original definition notwithstanding, and contrary to the usual definition in mathematics, there is no ordering to the elements of the tuples of a relation. Instead, each element is termed an attribute value. An attribute is a name paired with a domain. An attribute value is an attribute name paired with an element of that attribute's domain, and a tuple is a set of attribute values in which no two distinct elements have the same name. Thus, in some accounts, a tuple is described as a function, mapping names to values. A set of attributes in which no two distinct elements have the same name is called a heading. A set of tuples having the same heading is called a body. A relation is thus a heading paired with a body, the heading of a relation being also the heading of each tuple in its body. The number of attributes constituting a heading is called the degree, which term also applies to tuples and relations. The term n tuple refers to a tuple of degree northeast. F code used the term relation in its mathematical sense of affinitary relation, a set of tuples on some set of n sets S1, S2, Sn. Thus, an n a relation is interpreted, under the closed world assumption, as the extension of some n adic predicate, all and only those n tuples whose values, substituted for corresponding free variables in the predicate, yield propositions that hold true appear in the relation. The term relation schema refers to a heading paired with a set of constraints defined in terms of that heading. A relation can thus be seen as an instantiation of a relation schema if it has the heading of that schema and it satisfies the applicable constraints. Sometimes a relation schema is taken to include a name. A relational database definition can thus be thought of as a collection of named relation schemas. In implementations, the domain of each attribute is effectively a data type and a named relation schema is effectively a relation variable or ELVA for short. In SQL, a database language for relational databases, relations are represented by tables, where each row of a table represents a single tuple, and where the values of each attribute form a column. Examples, below is an example of a relation having three named attributes, id from the domain of integers, a name and address from the domain of strings, a predicate for this relation, using the attribute names to denote free variables, might be employee number ID is known as name and lives at address. Examination of the relation tells us that there are just four tuples for which the predicate holds true. So, for example, employee 102 is known only by that name, your knees or Akinari, and does not live anywhere else but in Ha, Okinawa. Also, Apart from the four employees shown, there is no other employee who has both a name and an address. Under the definition of body, the tuples of a body do not appear in any particular order. One cannot say the tuple of Miyurita Makoto is above the tuple of Matsumoto Yukaro, nor can one say the tuple of Yonis or Akinari is the first tuple. A similar comment applies to the rows of an SQL table. Under the definition of heading, the attributes of an element do not appear in any particular order either, nor, therefore do the elements of a tuple. A similar comment does not apply here to SQL, which does define an ordering to the columns of a table. Relation variables, a relational database consists of named relation variables for the purposes of updating the database in response to changes in the real world. An update to a single relva causes the body of the relation assigned to that variable to be replaced by a different set of tuples. Such variables are classified into two classes, base relation variables and derived relation variables, the latter also known as virtual relvas but usually referred to by the short-term view. A base relation variable is a relation variable which is not derived from any other relation variables. In SQL the term base table equates approximately to base relation variable. A view can be defined by an expression using the operators of the relational algebra or the relational calculus. Such an expression operates on one or more relations and when evaluated yields another relation. The result is sometimes referred to as a derived relation when the operands are relations assigned to database variables. A view is defined by giving a name to such an expression such that the name can subsequently be used as a variable name. By using a data definition language, 
it is able to define base relation variables. In SQL, create table syntax is used to define base tables. The following is an example. The data definition language is also used to define derived relation variables. In SQL, create view syntax is used to define a derived relation variable. The following is an example. References. Date. CJ and Introduction to Database Systems. It is only Euro Wesley. ISBN 0 321 19784 4.